is the first day of rehearsals for Chinglish on Broadway. Uh, we've had the meet and greet where we all stood around in a circle, said what we all do, met the producers, uh, and right now we're talking to press and then we go right into sitting around the table, having the first read through of the play and starting to work on it. Last summer, the producers took David and I uh, to Guiyang, to the, the city where the play takes place. Guiyang is an incredible city. Part of why David set the play there is because it's a city on the precipice of change. It was, was really fascinating. And, and it was, you know, usually when I go into China, I, I notice the Chinglish signs because I am bilingual. But this time I was there, you know, I would literally, I would, I would sort of see the Chinese and then I would look at the English and the number of times that it would stop me dead in my tracks. Chinglish is... It's really a kind of, uh, I guess, like an amalgamation of Chinese and English in the kind of the funniest and possibly the worst states that it could be in. There's a scene where I basically butcher a Chinese phrase, like four different ways. I would say that what the play is about is people s desperate, struggling to communicate with each other for business, for pleasure, for love. Chinese, English, Chinglish. Uh, that's a combined combination. Actually, this combination is not only the words, the sentence, also the joke, also the culture. My favorite uh, Chinglish sign would be F the certain price of good. <laughs> we cannot, we cannot keep it on the side, right? My favorite Chinglish sign. I don't know how much it's. Uh, I can say it on camera uh, because everyone can say. It. Okay. <laughs> uh, my favorite Chinglish sign is F the certain price of good which um, one would not necessarily assume means dry goods pricing department. I think that this is um, a play that tackles big subjects. It's an incredibly funny and, and moving show. Come to the Longacre and, and see our show.